Okay, well, here you come. Okay. Men's basketball post game show on WSIE. And now here's Joe Pot. Welcome back to the Alabine Center, 83-68. The final score tonight is SIUE defeats Tennessee Tech here at the Alabine Center. The very first Ohio Valley Conference win for the Cougars. Coach, you said it in our pregame. If you win tonight, you're in first place. How does it feel? <laughs> you know what? It feels pretty good, but uh, it's going to be a, a short-lived uh, just because we got another tough one on Saturday. Um, I thought, you know, Tennessee Tech was a pretty good team, and, you know, they scared me. And like I told you during the uh, before the game, you know, I picked them to win the OVC um, conference based on who they were having coming back. And, you know, I know how good a team that they are, and I, you know, but you got to give a lot of credit to our players. I thought they played very hard. I thought they execute the game plan. I thought they, uh, you know, did a decent job on the boards. We still gave up 16 offensive rebounds. Uh, but for the most part, I thought our guys played with some heart play with some aggressiveness and play as a team. One of those guys they have back is Kevin Murphy. How did you shut him down tonight? Well, you know what? Um, I, I thought Jerome Jones, I got after him for the first possession because if you guys can remember, the very first possession they had, he scored, and that's because he didn't follow the game plan. So I kind of ripped him one a little bit, but then he said, Coach, he's not going to score again. And, you know, I thought he did a great job on him, but it wasn't just Jerome Jones. It was a lot of combination of a lot of different guys that, that guarded Murphy uh, today, and, and I thought did a pretty good job on him. You got it from so many spots here tonight. You look at four players in double figures. Chris Davis with 19, Jerome Jones with 20, uh, Corey and Mark both in double figures. But then you think about somebody like Reggie Reed who comes out, he gets a career-high six points. He uh, has one steal. He's got three assists. He, I, I felt like he was a spark tonight. He, he most definitely was. And you know what? He's been doing a great job. And if you can go even go back to the Carbondale game, he played a lot of minutes, and I thought he did a pretty good job with the pressure that um, you know Carbondale could put on uh, on opponents. I thought he did good. Uh, yesterday, you know, a couple of days leading up to the game, I thought he was great in practice. Um, and you know what I told him was a hey, three is not his forte but um, you know being a team player and distribute the basketball and play good defense without fouling uh, there was one time there I almost got after him pretty good because he fouled kind of that a silly fouled um, but you know I, I thought he did a tremendous job give him a lot of credit you know he did a tremendous job as far as gave us a great spark both at, at both ends of the floor. Corey Wickware also had a complete game 12 points six rebounds a career high nine assists and no turnovers. Well you know uh, Corey was uh, someone that we have a conversation as far as you know he's, he's been so passive since this, the, the season started you know and he has to get back to the old Corey which he was being aggressive uh, and make plays and I thought he did a tremendous job tonight as far as doing so and um, you know so hopefully we can keep, keep guys going you know I thought Jerome after our conversation you know as far as he has to produce more for us not just you know rebound the basketball but also because he's taken a lot of shots he has to score a little bit more and I thought he did that today and you know overall I thought our guys just played as a team and I thought we you know competed pretty hard um, and you know they're well deserving of this win and hopefully we can follow that up by winning again on Saturday. You mentioned during the pregame interview on radio you were giving your guys a chance to refocus during break did you see that here tonight? Uh, most certainly you know I mean I thought our guys were fresh I thought they believed that they can win um, and you know whenever you go two and seven and seven of your losses are against division one opponents you know you, sometimes you get down on yourself but our guys you know give them a lot of credit they bounce back and believe that they can win and I you know something I keep saying to them is compete and they change it today where hey let's win you know forget about the competing part let's win and you know so uh, I'm, I'm happy for them uh, because I know how hard they've been trying uh, before now um, as trying to win basketball game and I'm, I'm, I'm glad uh, to see that it, 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 uh, they were able to do so and collect a win here tonight. Coach, as always, thanks so much for the time. Uh, we'll let you get to your team, and we'll talk to you again on Saturday. Thank you. Appreciate it.